Hey guys, Technoli here, and I've got a cold, but I'm still going to do a video. So what I decided was I wanted to see just how much difference there would be between the cheapest Intel processor I could find and something comparable in the Ryzen series. So what I've got here is the Intel Gold G5400. And here I've got the Ryzen 3 1200 processor. All right. So this one, the Intel is like $64. And this was $59 for the Ryzen. All right. I'm running the Ryzen on this Gigabyte A320M. And I've got an... XFX RX 570 graphics card and 4 gigabyte on this one and then up here we've got the MSI H310M with that Intel and we're running on this one because I don't have two 570s. This is a 580 RX 580 graphics card. So what I did was I decided to run the heaven benchmark on these and see what we ended up with. So here you go, guys. This is the horrible 20 frames per second on the Intel, the minimum was eight, the maximum was 46, all right? So that's pitiful, right? But look over here, look at this. Our Ryzen kicked it. These are both running on the high settings in the Heaven Benchmark. Average frames per second, 42. And so, you know, minimum 16, maximum 107. Now, I'm not saying these are gaming computers. They're not. But it just gives you an idea of the benchmark of the two different systems. And, of course, the Ryzen just kills it. So let's get started on some other benchmarks. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go out of uh, out of Heaven Benchmark. And I'm going to do a couple of other ones. All right, so I've got Cinebench here. Let's go ahead and run that just for fun. Okay, this is the Ryzen. When this is done, we'll come back. Okay, guys, coming down here to the end on this uh, Ryzen 1200. Now, this system is 360 bucks. Now, I got a link in the description below to all the components. So we got uh, almost 1200 on a score here, which is higher than uh, an i5 3550. So not the best score I've ever seen, but certainly not bad for a $360 computer. Let's go out of here and let's try. Let's try, uh, let's see. Geekbench 5. Open her up. Yep, yep, yep. Later. Okay, guys, we'll run this. And when this is done, we'll come back again. Okay, guys. Let's see what we end up with. 842. Eh, well, not horrible. Let's check it out. 842. Let's compare it to some Macs. So let's go down here to 842, about 842. Here's 843. So this is an iMac 21 and a half inch 2013 i5, which is still a you know a decent computer. So it would be up. We'd be about equal with that. Here's a MacBook Pro from 2016, 
an i7. So not bad, not bad at all. Now, you would ask me, why in the world would I use such a low-end processor? Well, maybe right now you don't have the money for a higher-end Ryzen processor. So get this one, get your Hackintosh built, upgrade your processor later, sell your processor on eBay or something after you get some more cash and upgrade the processor to be something faster. Now, I did try the Ryzen 3 2200G and guys, it didn't work. It worked. It booted. I got it loaded. But the audio is real crackly and scratchy and poppy. Could not find a fix for it. So stay away from the G processors on your Hackintoshes, okay? All right. Now, we'll do these same benchmarks just for the heck of it on the Intel system. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, I'm uh, booting this Pentium Gold. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, boot it up here. I still got ver verbose mode on, but I wanted you to see. Okay, so you're like, well, you know, it's pretty fast. And it's not horrible, okay? I'm not saying that you can't run the operating system. I mean, we've got eight gigabytes of RAM on this. And, um, you know, it works. Let's go ahead and run Cine on this one. Cine Bench. Okay, we'll come back around. Okay, guys, coming down to it here. Uh, I don't know. I, I would call the Intel a fail compared to the Ryzen. It's just, it's slow, guys. Now, same price processor, basically, right? But the Intel only has two cores. The Ryzen has four cores and four threads. Okay, so we ended up at 892. Okay, now... On the Ryzen, we were at 1200. So we were above that i5-3550. So here again, guys, it just doesn't cut it. I wouldn't use this for a Hackintosh when you compare it to our Ryzen 1200. We'll go ahead just for giggles and uh, we'll run Geekbench. We'll come back when this is done. Okay, we're getting close to it here, guys. You know, it's an Intel system. And the MSI motherboard that we used with this particular build is the same one we used on that $300 Hackintosh that we did where we used the onboard graphics with the uh, i3 processor. Okay, guys, we got a score of 927 and a multi-score of 1688. Ugh, pretty bad. But wait a minute. Listen, if you really want an Intel system, but you can't afford to go buy a 9900K, and you want to start with this, this is this is a good option. So you can start with the Pentium Gold processor, G5400. You're going to have the MSI H310 motherboard, which supports your higher-end processor. So you can upgrade sell your processor on eBay or whatever. So, depending on what you want. So here's the scores. So let's recap. Here we go. The Cinebench. The Ryzen 3 1200 had a score of 1194. The Pentium Gold, 892. But what's weird is, the Geekbench scores, the Pentium outclocked it. So, you know, what's the deal here? I have to be honest. The Intel, the Pentium Gold chip, just, it doesn't feel as snappy as the Ryzen. Now, if you went to a little higher end processor on the Intel system, it's going to be just fine. 
So it really, guys, depends on what you want to do and what you want to do in the future. We're only running 8 gigabytes of RAM on this system, so that's not a lot. But the nice thing about both these systems, we are using a graphics card. We're not relying on the onboard graphics. Now, the Ryzen 3 1200 doesn't even have onboard graphics, okay? So the Pentium Gold does. It's the Intel 610 graphics chip, which is not supported by Mac OS. So here you go. I hope this was fun for you to watch. I am going to do a complete build for the Ryzen system with this new gigabyte board that I picked up. I'm going to show you how to make the USB bootloader and go through the whole process, okay? Stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. See you on the next one.